Hi, everybody. It's uh, Rob Jersek from OneCloudX. Today, I thought I would record a little short video to show you this new feature that's come out in the new NetSuite release, the actual 2021.1 release that was only that only came out uh, a few weeks ago for a majority of our clients. Um, this new feature enables consolidated purchasing across multiple entities. So if you're an organization where you currently have multiple purchase orders for the same products you're buying um, and you're doing it for each and every entity, NetSuite now enables you to consolidate those into one purchase order. So you can have one purchase order that is able to buy products from the same supplier across those multiple entities and facilitate that receiving process as well into those relevant locations and warehouses for those subsidiaries and facilitate the accounts payable element as well. So let me show you um, how to set it up. It's quite easy and simple. <clears throat> so let me just uh, jump in and show you. So here I am here, NetSuite logged in as the administrator role. Um, so if you jump into setup, enable company, um, enable features, sorry. Okay. Once you're in enable features, under the inventory and uh, items in inventory tab, if you scroll down, you will notice that there is a facility that enables centralized purchasing and billing. So once that switch is switched on, you're able, it facilitates that, that ability to, to create a purchase order for multiple legal entities. So if I now go into an actual role and show you how it works, so I'll just jump in the purchaser manager role. <clears throat> so here I am as the purchase manager. I'll just jump in to create a purchase order from my shortcuts. <clears throat> so if I go and add a supplier in, once I've selected that supplier, jump down and choose the actual product, you will now see after I've turned that facility on, there are two actual fields here that you just switch on in the customizer form section. It's called the target subsidiary and the target location. So it's in addition to this actual location field that you can switch off. So if I if I go and add this, um, so I'm choosing for one Cloud X lights and for warehouse 20 HQ, I'm also able to then create for the same product under the same purchase order um, the the subsid another subsidiary. Sorry if I choose the correct subsidiary. Another subsidiary for a separate warehouse to be received in, right? Sorry, I didn't obviously do that correctly. One cloud X lights, one cloud X lighting, and we do 32 QLD. So <clears throat> you can see I'm buying products for these separate subsidiaries on the one purchase order and, and going to be receiving them against these two individual locations that are tied to these target subsidiaries. So if I save that now, I've then created a purchase order for this. And then obviously for the receiving process, I'll show you how that works as well. So if you were to receive in terms of just via the purchase order, you could obviously go in and hit the receive button. And then you'll see the facility of being able to select the two line items to be received against those individual subsidiary locations. So when that loads up, you'll be able to see that I can highlight both for that particular purchase order and, and submit and receive where it will create two in, uh, item receipt records <coughs> for those two purchase orders. But let me do that whole process via the... Um, uh, items to receipt uh, transaction under the warehouse manager, which is what most organizations be using and to show you how that works. So here I am logged in as the warehouse manager. I have the um, items to receive button here, so I'll choose that. And you can see if I just uh, sort based on PO,
So maybe we can choose the vendor. So therefore find those two. You can see that for the same purchase order, um, for those two particular target locations, subsidiaries, I'm now receiving it. So if I click and submit, assuming you don't have a sim, um, you know, um, serialized or, or batch product where you have to go and allocate the relevant batches to it. In this case, I'm just receiving inventory items. So what will happen in this very simple process of receiving, it will then create two individual um, receipts where you can see for each receipt um, the individual reception of the product against the location. So we're receiving in the 32 for that particular subsidiary, as well as receiving this particular um, quantity against this location against that subsidiary. So it's, it's relatively easy to use um, and it's quite simple. So I hope, I hope this was of help. And I'll uh, produce a few more videos of some of the new features that are coming that, are, that have come out in the 2021 release. Thank you.